Pictures. Now the other one I'm going to show today is our 0.1 molar PBS solution. And again, we use Sigma. These are actually tablets uh, from PBS phosphate buffered saline. One thing that's important to note is when this is dissolved, this is a solution of phosphate buffered saline. So an important point to note is that there are some other components. So make sure you note that in your experiments and research that it is a solution of PBS. So these, as I said, come in tablets and in order to make 0.1 molar PBS solution, what we do, it's real simple, uh, just take one tablet and just have a clean 250 milliliter size container. We just dissolve one tablet in 200 milliliters of water to make 0.1 molar. And again, standard practice, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this one in steps also. Here I have a 50 milliliter graduated cylinder, which is from WPI because we have glassware. And as a volumetric flask, there is a line which will be exactly 50 milliliters. So. I'm going to fill this half full, make this go a little faster now, I'll just Add the water this way. So again, I got half of my 200 milliliters here, so I'm going to dissolve this as much as I can. You may want to use a magnetic stirrer if you're in a hurry because the tablet it takes a little bit longer to dissolve than that water for finally divide it as a powder. You may want to crush it if you so choose to dissolve faster. So add some more water. If you were to just walk away with no agitation, that pill would eventually dissolve anyway, and then you just stir it up. So. Sure. It's, again, uh, in keeping with the practice of dissolving things, the best way to make any solution is to use as much volume as needed to dissolve something, mm -hmm. and then bringing your final volume to whatever it needs to be. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that being, as you get further advanced in the chemistry is when you learn about properties of mixing and solutions, you learn that things don't exactly add up as they're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. So, example, if you try to mix 25 milliliters of water with 25 milliliters of methanol, five volume is not going to be 50 milliliters. It might be 49.2, could be 50.3 because things aren't similar with their chemical properties. So, sure. that's one of the reasons that in practice, when you are dissolving and mixing things, that you follow the same pattern because you encounter a lot of things that aren't dissolved in water, and you might be dissolving in other components like alcohol, and it makes it much easier when you follow the same practice where you dissolve as you can. And then I'll add the last 50 because the tablet's very close to being dissolved now. It's about gone, so. Right. Yep. Anyway, All right. that's a simple demonstration of how to make some of our solutions as well as general chemical solutions. So, until next time, 
good one. Thanks, Nick.